What is going on, everybody? How are all of you doing? It is, let's see, what time is it? It is about midnight. Let's see. Yep, exactly midnight, 31 degrees in Big Bear. And we are just starting to get a little bit of the snow from the big push coming through. Hope you all are doing great. I have some amazing news to tell you guys. It's been a very emotional afternoon. We got the dog back. We got the dog back. We don't have the dog with us, but I'll tell you guys what ended up happening. Um, so we ended up, uh, well, my wife, just really quick, and then I'll get to the weather. As she was driving back home from the East LA area, leaving our dog who was lost behind, obviously you can imagine she was super devastated. And uh, she, we were on the phone while she was driving up the mountain and she got a call from Petco. And she's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I have to take this, I have to take this. I'm like, get it, get it, get it. So long story short, a homeless person found the dog, didn't have a phone, nothing, carried the dog to Petco. And Petco scanned the, the um, scanned our, our dog for its chip. And it was the dog. And I just want you guys to know, like, it's been really emotional. It's been incredible, but my wife couldn't turn around and go back because she wouldn't have probably made it back before all the snow. So her, my mother-in-law, her mom has our dog now, you guys, like, can you believe it? And it's because of all the love that you guys showed. I told you that all that love would, it would work. It's the law of attraction. I knew it would, it would help that. And with God's help, I'm telling you guys, thank you so much. Like, I, I am so thankful for you guys. I can't even begin to tell you how grateful and thankful I am for each and every single one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you guys so dearly. You guys are the most amazing friends I have ever had in my entire life, ever. So thank you, thank you, thank you once again. And I just, I really can't express to you guys enough how unbelievably thankful I am that you guys are in my life, that you guys are my friends, how much you guys actually cared about this situation. It is just so beautiful, and you guys are incredibly beautiful. Um, I really do love each and every single one of you so, so deeply. I am so thankful for you guys. Um, yeah, we have, not physically, but our dog is with my mother-in-law. Like, she sent us pictures and everything. It's been such an emotional ride. But once again, because of you guys, because of all of your love that brought our dog back to us in, in the most, like, uh, just the most surprising way. I, I, I never expected it. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't even, like, I'm, I owe you guys everything. I owe you guys everything in my life. Everything good that has happened to me this past eight years is because of you guys. This was this is the greatest day I've ever experienced. Obviously, it was super painful earlier today. Um, I haven't slept much. I've been crying a lot. And then when my wife called me, I just completely erupted. Like, like it was like diaphragmatic crying. Like I just could not like breathe. It was such a beautiful feeling. So thank you guys so much for the love and support. I, I'll never be able to thank you guys enough for it. Once again, you guys found our dog for us. You guys did that. You, you, you guys made it so a good Samaritan found the dog. Like, thank you. Oh my gosh, like I'm so happy, you guys. So let's do this. Let's do this, you guys. It's 33 degrees. Just past midnight, it's 12.04 a.m. and we are doing our drive it just started snowing this is as i said the big push of the storm it looks like in the next 48 hours we could get up to 36 inches of snow um, chances of more are very very good but yeah we are going to be driving through pothole city aka big bear and we're going to go up to the dam and we're probably going to drive around the dam go through fawn scan do a little night drive all the way around the dam. I'm in such a good mood. You, oh my gosh, I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's been emotional. You guys are the most impressive people I have ever, ever had the great fortune to have in my life. Yeah, look guys, it's snowing, man, and it's coming down. It's coming down pretty good. 
I hope everyone's doing great tonight. If you guys enjoy what I do, please like and subscribe and share it. I would really, really appreciate that. I'm in a much better mood now. Yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. It helps the channel a lot. And I do work really, really hard for this. Um, but just ultimately, just having you guys here means everything to me anyway. So thank you. And uh, yeah, so let me let me get back to some weather stuff. But it was really important for me to let you guys know what is the haps when it comes to uh, our situation regarding the dog. So overnight, three to five inches is what it's saying. And then let's see what it says for tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, eight to 12 more inches. Tomorrow evening, eight to 12 more inches. And Wednesday, it, was, it, it said more earlier, but it says during the day, one to three more inches. And maybe a couple snow showers lingering in the evening time. All right, you guys. And then we get a good break. I love you guys. I am. So, I love you guys. My life is so much better with you guys in it. There's just no doubt about that. I am. I just love you guys. You guys know I'm always here for all of you. Anything I can do to help make your trip better up here. If you're in town, not that I'm special, but if you want to meet me, and, like I'd be happy to shake all your hands. I would love that. That would make me feel really good. I've, I've had the great fortune of, of actually meeting a lot of you guys. And I would like to continue doing that. You guys are amazing people. Oh, it's starting to snow pretty good over here. This is great. We've got our map here in the car. As you guys know, we got our other Subaru back. 2019 Crosstrek after I wrecked it and it looks brand new. It was only cosmetic damage, you guys. Nothing like there was there, there were no engine issues or or anything like that. It was just bumper and like hood and stuff like that, the lights and all all that good stuff, but there was zero zero engine stuff. But right now we're passing Papoose Bay. This is so beautiful. I am so happy. Starting to see a little bit of white on the street over here. That's really good. But yeah, temperature is 32 degrees. 99.9 miles per gallon. Oh, that pothole was big and that was a big one. I really owe you guys everything. I've I've never experienced that 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 type of just real love, you guys. Like that is just so incredible. I am as happy as you can possibly imagine. And I'll never let you guys down. Look at, you see the white in the streets on the left? It, in the street on the left, it's starting to accumulate. At least stick to the ground, so that's good. Okay. That was my alarm in case I fell asleep, because that's, that's when it was showing that it could start snowing for the the big push of the storm so I want to make sure that I don't miss it of course you guys know I will never miss it this is this is what I love to do this makes me happy and right now we're on Big Red Boulevard aka Highway 18 just enjoying this beautiful weather it's really coming down good over here though I'll tell you that we got our snow tires on today guys my friend who didn't have time because he was so busy like he was like Nick dude I'll stay, I'll stay late. He owns Knights Automotive and he stayed late to make sure that I got my snow tires put on so we can feel safe driving. And it's, oh, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, we're getting snow. So 
once again, you guys, by early morning, we, we could have five inches on the ground outside. By noon, we could have another foot. And by midnight, we could have another foot tomorrow. So just so you guys know, the strength of this storm, let's say we didn't have the big storm that we just had a, a couple weeks ago. This would be the biggest storm we've seen in a few years, for sure. Just this one. So we've been, we've been getting hit good. This is gonna be, I believe, in most cases, a much wetter, in terms of our snow, a wetter snowstorm. So we're not gonna get as much uh, of that champagne powder, which the concerning part about that is roofs, rooftops. I'm concerned about rooftops collapsing with all the really heavy, heavy snow. So keep your fingers crossed, y'all, that we do get some uh, some some colder temps in here to make our snow a little more fluffy. So right here to the right, you can't see it, but we're driving right along the lake, right along beautiful Big Bear Lake. It is technically March 21st, 2023 now. And I'm gonna have to set my alarm for about 6.30 a.m. It, it's 12.10 right now or something like that. It's gonna take me, by the time I'm done uploading this video and doing what I need to do, it's gonna be about 3.30. And so I'll, I, I'll be driving back to where my wife and I are staying right now. We're doing a video of that place also. We'll let you guys uh, enjoy the video. We're gonna get a grand tour of the place tomorrow. And yeah, I'm just super excited that we were able to get the heck away from the house. We got the most amazing rate, you guys. It was, it, it was less than a hundred bucks a night. So as you guys know, who have been watching a long time. I've been doing good with my credit cards, been paying them off. So um, I decided, you know what? This is what we're, we're gonna do. We're gonna enjoy ourselves for once. Once again, the best news in the world was because of all of your love, we got our doggy back. I, I'm just that, I'm so happy. Like, I am so happy. But yeah, here's our GPS system. This car, it's much smaller, the GPS. And this car has no bells and whistles. But it's still the same exact Subaru drivetrain. Um, and as I said, I. I put snow tires on this vehicle today. So both of the Subarus have snow tires. I didn't have to go buy any snow tires. Um, I bought a, a, a set last year, um, not knowing that I was gonna crash and get a, a new car. And my friend at his shop, he lets me keep my tires in between seasons there. So I went over there and he took off the, red, the regular street tires today and put on my snow tires that have been waiting there for me to get them put on. So yay! And this vehicle is is lifted. It's much higher off the ground than my other super, than my brand new Subaru. So how is everybody doing? Thank you guys so much for all the support. I really love doing this. I love getting the comments from you guys. You you guys put a huge smile on my face always. You guys make me feel really good. And I just want you to know how thankful I am for you guys. As you guys know, on these videos I talk a lot. In, in real life, I don't. It's the weirdest thing. But I talk a lot and I could literally talk the whole time because I feel like you guys are right here with me. And I'll never, ever, ever get enough of telling you guys how much I love you guys. I am so thankful for you, so thankful. at about 6 7 a.m. We're going to be doing another video. Because this snowfall is only going to pick up. But yeah, we are entering the Fawnskin area, you guys. We're, we're getting close to downtown Fawnskin. And we are going to be taking North Shore. Right now, so uh, when we were at that at the dam where that stoplight was back there, you guys, 
we were on Highway 18, AKA Big Bear Boulevard when you get into Big Bear, but we turned right at the dam, which turned this into Highway 38, you guys. And Highway 38 um, is the same road. It's, it's confusing, these roads up here, you guys. Like, uh, take a look for yourself. You'll see what I'm talking about. But if we stay straight on this, long enough it turns into highway 18 heading into Lucerne Valley and Victorville etc etc but look at this snow That's so pretty. oops Let's see here. hang on a second you guys Okay, we are entering downtown Fonskin, you guys. 32 degrees. My clock is about 20 minutes off, 25 minutes off. I really hope a lot of you can get a chance to come up here and enjoy the beauty because this is probably gonna be the last major snowstorm, but I shouldn't, I shouldn't really say that because we get snow in April and May, you guys. April can bring some good sized storms. Here we are at downtown Fonskin, folks. I don't think this is gonna keep the ski resorts open that, that much more. I mean, maybe we'll stay open until the second week of, of, of the month, but we'll, we'll see, right? We'll see. All right, we're leaving Fonskin, guys. Downtown part. So if you guys have any questions for me, please leave leave the comments. You guys know that I get back to you guys. I'm pretty darn good about that. It's what I really look forward to doing doing all, all these videos these days is my relationship with each and every single one of you guys. Sharing what's going on up, up here has come second now. It's really about my selfish need to be able to communicate with you guys. I love you guys. And especially what you guys did. You guys brought my dog back. You guys brought my dog back. That was the last thing I needed emotionally was something like that to happen, and it did. So thank you, guys. difference using these snow tires right now because driving this for the past few days in some wet areas it's it's just a night and day difference I'm telling you you guys for those of you who well it's probably not even worth it even if you come up here once a week to put snow tires on because driving on regular pavement dry pavement it's it's gonna destroy your snow tires these snow tires wear wear down to the to the bone like twice to three times as fast as regular tires. So right now I'm not doing myself any services driving on them, but it's, 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 what, it's what we do. We wanna be as safe as possible. 
Um, obviously, a lot of people would say, well, you, you, should, you should add chains too. I'm not saying that I shouldn't. It's just in the in the eight years I've been doing this, all 3,100 plus videos, I've never put tire chains on. And that, that doesn't mean that that's the right thing to do. It's just most of the time I've, I've been lucky enough to have snow tires and I do pretty well. And it's not me, it's the vehicle. The all wheel drive aspect. Yeah, we're exiting Fonskin now, you guys, the town of Fonskin. And we are on North Shore. Once again, AKA Highway 38 at this point. Thursday's gonna be a major cleanup day up here. Um, I, 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 I think you guys wouldn't have too much issue trying to come up Friday. Um, I just hope that, they, they, well, if they close down our town again, a town that's built on, you know, like snow tourism, if they close that down, it's gonna be a, a serious problem. But if they can maintain, then I think we'll, good to have you guys up here we really need you guys to come up here and have, have a great time and really experience these really massive rare storms at least the aftermath of them suggest is in the evening time after the ski resorts are closed there are a few big satellite parking lots just up, just huge 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 parking lots um, situated around town which are as I said huge so you can actually get up to speed and then pull your e-brake or hit your brakes hit your gas spin spin the wheel and just practice losing control on the ice and snow and regaining control you guys will be shocked how quickly you get the feel for it. Shocked. And then you're going to want to have fun around every turn. <laughs> you, trust me, you really are. But uh, just make sure safety is your priority. We don't want you guys leaving injured. I want you guys to come up here and just create amazing memories with your families. And, and just have a great, beautiful time. That's my goal for you guys. Every single, every season I get to do this for you guys. All I'm thinking about is just seeing, 
seeing the wonderful smiles on kids faces making snowmen I think this is gonna be a much better storm for making snowmen because it's gonna be a wetter snow but anyway guys we are at Stanfield cutoff so this is our first chance to get across to the other side of the lake and we're going to do that to head back to Highway 18 aka Big Bear Boulevard Stanfield Cutoff is the very end point of the lake. So at the, the Big Bear Dam, that's one end, and right here is the other end. Let me see if I roll down the window and if we can see anything out there. You can't really see anything, can you? But that's the lake, and then to this side is the Baldwin Lake area, Big Bear City area over there, way out there. As I said, you can't see much. Stater Brothers, Hater Brothers, and then we've got Vons right here with the DIYs and restaurants. Now it's really coming down, you guys. So I really want to thank you guys again for everything. Thank you for being so loving and supportive and just believing and giving us hope about our pet. Without you guys, I, I, I would have I don't know what I would have done. Like I was an emotional wreck and you guys were keeping me from absolutely just, just dying emotionally completely. Thank you guys. And I can't wait till we get him back in, in about a week after the storm so we can bring him along for a ride. So just so he can thank you guys as well, our little dog, Theo. But anyway, this is just a little update for you guys. We just did a drive around Big Bear Lake um, thank you guys again for everything. Um, it's March 21st, 2023 at approximately 1225 in the morning. If you guys like what I do, please hit like and subscribe and share. I'd really appreciate that a lot. And uh, yeah, woohoo. We're back on Moon Ridge Road after this left turn and we will be getting back out here soon to make some more videos. So thank you guys again. Let's get ready for the snow. Be safe, get your buns up here whenever you can and uh, just have a great time. Any questions you have, don't ever hesitate. I'm here for you guys. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later.